Hey, welcome back everybody. This topic, we're working on distributed property and we have two sample problems. So, as always, pause the video, give yourself a chance here to try them out. That way, when I go over the questions, you can see where you can go by yourself and see what you need to do to get it all good, all by yourself, all right? So that's the point of this. So pause the video, give yourself a shot, and press play when you're ready. So let's go ahead and kick it off here. Expand the following. So again, distributive property is what we're working on. And here's the basic rule of thumb that this is really all you want to do with distributive property and binomials. Just make sure that every term from one binomial multiplies with every term from the other. So here's what that looks like. It means that this 3x is going to multiply with this and that. This negative 4 is going to multiply with this and that. So to name them, 3x is supposed to multiply with both the negative 2x and the 5 separately. And the negative 4 with the negative 2x and the positive 5. So let's go ahead and show how that's done with different colors here and then map it out so we feel more confident. So 3x times negative 2x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And x times x, or anything times itself, that's that thing squared, right? Like 5 times 5, 5 squared. 10 times 10, 10 squared x times x, x squared. So up next, again, like I said, that 3x needs to multiply with both of those terms. So now we have 3x plus 5, and that's going to be 3 times 5 is 15, and then x. Up next, here's what we got moving in for purple here. That negative 4 needs to multiply with the negative 2x. So a negative times a negative is going to give you a positive. Watch out for those signs, guys. It's really easy to just, you know, avoid talking about the signs because, well, we just want to get it done quickly. But if you don't get it done right, then there's no point in being quick. So 4 times 2, that's going to give us 8, and then x. And lastly here, we're going to grab a blue, negative 4 times positive 5. A negative times a positive gives a negative, and 4 times 5 is 20. So that's really it, guys. Just make sure that everything from one parenthesis multiplies with everything from the other. And from here... All you got to do is combine like terms. So the first step was distribute. It was to distribute. And the second step, that was to combine like terms now. And that's what we're going to do. Combine like terms. So with that said, let me just move this over here. And so what do like terms look like? Well, that's 15x and 8x. These are like terms because they have the same variable, so the same letter, and the same exponent. So we have to think about both of those. Because here it's an x to the power of 1, and that's power of 1. They're the same power, right? So now we can combine them. So if I have 15 of something plus 8 of something, that's going to give me 23 of that something. And so we'll have negative 6x squared plus Jordan x minus 20. And that was a bad joke, 23x. All right, so that's our final answer there for number one. And if you got that too, great. But if you got it wrong or right, just make sure you understand why you're right. That's the most important thing here. So let's move on to number two. We have x plus six all squared. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people think that this will result in, oh, we're, gonna, uh, you know, we're supposed to have x squared plus 36. That's supposed to be the answer. No, it's not. It is not. The reason is because... Anything squared is that number times itself. Remember that simple basic rule here. Anything squared is that number times itself. So if I'm looking at this x plus 6 all squared, really what I'm looking at is x plus 6 times x plus 6. And so now that we're looking at this, guys, here's what we got to do. We got to go ahead now and do the same thing that we did over here. Just make sure we distribute the right way and combine like terms. So. First off, what we're going to see is x times x, and that is going to give us x squared. So that's partial of what we have, right? And also what you got to know is that at the end, the 6 and the 6 are going to multiply together as well, and that's going to give you that 36. So we have that part there, but it's everything in between that we miss if we don't follow the distributive property. So let me fill in the rest. I'm going to use black here. Because we did the x with the x here, but we didn't do the x with this 6. So that'll end up being 6x. 
and now over here in gray, this x needs to multiply with, or this six needs to multiply with x. And so six times x again is still six x. And again, we combine our like terms and call it a day. So our final answer will be x squared plus 12x plus 36. And so there is a shortcut rule that I will show you in an upcoming video about seeing a binomial squared and how to get to the final answer like that. It has to do with squaring that last term and then just doubling 6 and x together. Doubling 6 and x together right so we'll talk more about that in a future video but for right now make sure you're focusing on knowing why the answer is right or wrong regardless of whether you are right or wrong it's about the after effect it's about again reflecting and pointing out hey what went right what do we need to improve on because if it's mental math and multiplying or subtracting that's a problem we got to take care of it because it's not just about the overall goal it's about everything and the little steps therein so with that said, my party people, I'll see you in the next video. Keep looking out for these many more to come.